Day one of hearings is done with the historic Supreme Court nominee, Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson. And with it, people across the nation are rising up in support. Unlike the many barriers that they had had to face growing up, my path was clearer. So that if I worked hard and I believed in myself in America, I could do anything or be anything I wanted to be. If confirmed, Judge Jackson would succeed Justin Stephen Breyer, for whom she once clerked, and she would become the first black woman to sit on the high court. Across the nation, the monumental event is inspiring women of color. It just means that I can achieve any goal that I want to achieve. Outside the confirmation hearing, black law students were seen cheering on Judge Jackson. And right here in Northeast Wisconsin, so many are voicing their support and the potential unifying impact on our country. In fact, just moments ago, I spoke with Danilo P. Artez of We All Rise. He tells me the African American Resource Center was buzzing today with excitement. He hopes this is an accomplishment all Americans will celebrate. So you think after George Floyd, after the Capitol Hill riots, that this confirmation hearing could actually be a unifying moment? It could be, if we as a nation want it to be. But that's the kicker. We have to actually want to unify again. Artez says you don't have to be an African-American woman to appreciate what Judge Jackson's nomination means to them and share in the happiness of finally being heard and seen.